Convenience is taking over our lives, beloved. It's safe to say that the times in which we currently live, well, they're changing most of us. Some of those changes, many of those changes, in fact, are good. Some of those changes are for the betterment of many things across the board, and we should be grateful. But beloved, and y'all know, I'm just waiting for it, Shepherd man. We know you. Not all change is good, unfortunately. Not all change is healthy or productive. Let me ask you a question this morning. What are the implications of immeasurable convenience on the spirit man, for instance? What are the consequences of greater convenience on faith and charitable outreach efforts? Pastor of one ministry and a music director at two others get a chance to see a diverse sampling of how things are changing in real time with regards to folks' faith, fellowship efforts, volunteer, uh, you know, uh, charitable efforts, and the like. Beloved, I'm going to tell you that at least from the prism in which I view and see things in my own cipher, in many regards, it doesn't look good. Have we found ourselves looking for shortcuts in order to accomplish literally everything, beloved, even with regards to our spirit and our faith? What are the long-term consequences of increasing convenience regarding topics and in areas not only such as faith, but what if we start taking shortcuts and making things at arm's length in the area of national defense, for example, area of our own personal safety and well-being and security. Can we afford to conveniently shortcut everything? What impact is it going to have on our children and on the generations of the future? Have we began to sacrifice quality, safety, and integrity in order to get things done quicker? or with less effort, or for fewer 